Hey, what is going on guys? My name is IndieGamerTag and I'm back for another Fortnite video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the fastest and best way to level up in Fortnite as of right now. I know Season 3 is coming kind of close to an end and I'm sure a lot of people are scrambling to get as many levels as they possibly can before the season does in fact transition into Season 4. So today I wanted to share with you guys the fastest and quickest way of leveling up and the methods I'm going to be sharing with you are relatively new and undoubtedly the best you could ever use. Just to give you guys an idea of how much XP we can be receiving. In the background right now you guys can see I actually end up finishing this game with zero kills. I didn't take a single shot on anybody at all and I still received upwards to 160,000 XP. Literally no kills, no eliminations, absolutely nothing happened at all this game and I still was close to getting 200,000 XP and you guys can do the exact same in literally a matter of minutes. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few different methods. We're going to be talking about how I was able to get nearly 200,000 XP without really even moving throughout the entire game and also we're going to be then covering other ways that are very efficient in regards of gaining XP in Fortnite before the season ends. And I strongly encourage that you actually watch through the entirety of this video all the way to the end because every single method that I share with you guys is very very important. In fact the last method I share with you is probably the most important out of this entire video. So how did I get this near 200,000 XP without even engaging in any fights whatsoever? Whatsoever. Well, if you guys do not already know, there's actually golden XP coins that are placed throughout the map. And beyond this, there's actually a punch card in Fortnite, which gives you XP. Basically, punch cards are kind of like challenges, and there's different levels to them. So for this punch card in particular, you need to get actually all of the golden XP coins and you'll be rewarded with a substantial amount of XP. And that's great and all, but believe it or not, every XP coin that you pick up is actually going to give you 15,000 XP. XP. So there's actually going to be them scattered throughout the map and you guys can follow the route that I'm taking in the gameplay or simply search it for yourself on YouTube. Basically all of the gold XP locations in Fortnite Season 3. So basically all I did is I landed on a helicopter, made my way around the map and just tried to pick up every golden XP coin that I can. I believe before the game finished I was able to collect like maybe eight or nine at most. I definitely didn't get them all. And as you guys can tell again, I did in fact get eliminated by the storm, literally by like one second. And although I didn't engage in any battles, any fights whatsoever, I was still able to get nearly 200,000 XP. And you guys can do the exact same simply by collecting these XP coins. This is honestly a ton of XP. Like I can't even begin to describe how many levels you guys can be receiving simply by using this method alone. And again, this is a very passive method. You don't have to fight anybody whatsoever you can simply just mind your own business listen to the radio station and make your way around the map collecting these golden xp coins so that's the secret that's basically the underlying way that i was able to get close to 200,000 xp without even engaging in any fights in fortnite you guys can do the same and i certainly recommend this is the first thing that you prioritize in regards to leveling up in fortnite now obviously we can't do this each and every single game these golden xp coins are kind of like a one grab thing once you grab them once, you can't continuously do this every single game. So how are some other ways that we can level up in Fortnite? Well, basically, we need to be looking at our challenges and punch cards. And these kind of go hand in hand. Punch cards are essentially, again, just challenges that have certain levels to them and are scattered throughout the entirety of Season 3. And then challenges themselves are obviously weekly in Fortnite. There's going to be seven challenges every single week that the season has been out. And you actually need to complete all of these. And I believe you'll be receiving around 15 to 35,000 XP per challenge. So what I strongly recommend is you guys actually find a few challenges that you would like to be able to complete in one game alone, load into a team rumble match, and just focus on completing those challenges in particular. Now the reason I strongly recommend you complete these challenges in team rumble is because obviously in our solos, duos, and squads game mode, once we get eliminated and die, there's no way we're able to respawn. We then have to go into a new game and it's honestly really tedious and quite time consuming. Whereas with team rumble, Basically, it's a respawn game mode, so even if you do get eliminated, it does not matter, you'll respawn in the exact same match in a matter of seconds. And also, as it stands, it's not typical to find really above average players in Team Rumble. So no offense if you're an avid Team Rumble player, but it seems to me that the majority of Team Rumble players aren't that great at the game. So again, there's literally no pressure to completing these challenges whatsoever. So just make your way around the map, completing these challenges one by one. And if I'm being honest, if you do this for about an hour straight and really focus and hone in on completing completing these challenges in Team Rumble, you could probably see that you'd make around 1 million XP in an hour alone. Again, that's if you really focus up and are very time efficient when completing these challenges. Now actually on my channel, I have a guide for every single challenge of every single week. You guys can check those in the description below or head on over to my channel and find the challenge guides there. 
And punch cards are actually relatively the exact same thing. Like I mentioned, they do go hand in hand. So over in your challenge section as well, you can go through your punch cards, see which ones you'd really like to focus on. Some of them are literally as easy as get like 10 eliminations with a pistol. Like honestly, punch cards are not too difficult. You just have to make sure you are focusing on completing those punch cards every time you get into a game. And these truthfully could be probably the most critical aspect of leveling up in Fortnite. They are very, very efficient. Now, believe it or not, we are not done there. I know it seems like I've given you guys so much useful information and very very effective methods onto leveling up but there is something that a lot of people overlook and honestly could just be the most important part of this video there's actually a way you can double nearly triple the amount of xp that you get every single game that you play by literally doing honestly nothing and this is actually by playing with other people in your lobby so if you actually have a friend on fortnite and you invite them into your game lobby if they have the battle pass and are relatively high tier or level they actually will give you an xp boost i'm not showing the exact numbers because it seems like they do change it every single season but at one point there was actually a way you could get like 115 percent xp boost simply by playing with one other friend in your game mode so if you do the math if you play with a full squad of three other players in your lobby, you could actually be tripling the amount of XP that you receive. And again, as I mentioned, I'm not sure if those numbers still stand true to this day, but I am willing to bet you could definitely double the amount of XP that you receive simply by playing with friends on Fortnite. So all you need to do is literally just go into a lobby, make sure they are your friend on Epic or Fortnite itself, and all you literally have to do is just play like you typically would. Whether you're completing challenges or you're doing the XP coins, if you do have friends that are in your lobby and in your game, you will receive a huge boost of XP. So if you're in the scenario where you don't have any friends online right now or maybe some of your friends aren't willing to help you with this, go ahead and go into the comment section down below, comment your epic account name, as well as the platform that you play on. Find a group of people in the comments, all join up in a lobby together, and you can either just play the game as you typically would, try to get a squad win, or you can all focus on your XP coins or even your challenges individually. And basically, again, simply just by having them added and in your lobby, you're going to be getting a ton of XP boost, possibly tripling the amount of XP you will be receiving. And of course, keep in mind, you can cross-platform play. So if you see someone that comment their epic names, but they're on PS4 and you're on Xbox or PC, that simply does not matter. As long as you have each other added on epic, regardless of the platform difference, you guys can play together. So basically we have covered the golden XP coin method and how this could actually get you guys over 200,000 XP in one game alone without engaging in any battles or fights whatsoever. We then talked about the importance of challenges as well as punch cards and the most effective and efficient way of going about completing these as well as explaining how that method alone can get you around a million XP every single hour. And then lastly we touched on basically the importance of playing with other people in your lobby and how this can potentially triple the amount of XP that you get. So whether or not you're trying to level up in the battle pass before the season ends or you're simply just trying to get a high level for bragging rights, these three methods that I just shared with you are by far the most efficient way to level up in Fortnite and without a doubt are the quickest and fastest ways to level up in Fortnite season 3 as of right now. So I strongly encourage that you apply everything that I've shared with you in this video and you'll be able to reach any level you could possibly imagine. Now if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, a like would be beyond appreciated down below. And of course on the contrary, if you genuinely disliked today's video then feel free to leave a dislike and if you're new around here and would like to see more Fortnite content like this in the future, then feel free to subscribe as well as turning on those post notifications. Nonetheless, my name is Indian Gamer Tag. Thank you all for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.